What's good, Spidey Gang? MJ here, and today we're gonna be watching The Shawshank Redemption. Shawshank. Shawshank. That's a weird word to say. Anyways, yes, we're gonna be watching The Shawshank Redemption. You guys were really, really requesting this one on my reaction to Green Mile. If you have not seen that, I will put it in the description below. Yeah, from what I heard, very, very sad movie. I'm not ready. Y'all have been putting me through it with these sad movies lately, so I'm not ready. Just off the bat, I see that Morgan Freeman is in it. Come on now. <laughs> you know it's gonna be good if Morgan Freeman is in it. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited to be watching this today. I really enjoyed The Green Mile, so I'm super super excited for this one and i know you guys are excited as well so if you end up enjoying my reaction to this movie don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel liking the video really helps me get my channel pushed across the platform oh. and subscribing is just because you love me <laughs> also if you want to see my full reaction to this movie and every other movie and show on my channel as well as get them early go ahead and click that patreon link down in the description below full movie music and show reactions are there also i do want to clear something up real quick quick you guys think that i am thirsty for the money and that's why i only take requests on patreon and i understand why you think that there's a lot of people out here who are exactly like that but the only reason that i take requests on patreon is because there are some people in the comments who truly want me to watch a movie for them and i don't want to have your request be buried under a bunch of other comments or i can't see it at all you know so I, I made that option. So if you guys really do want to see me react to a movie, you could just go to Patreon and I will watch it for you. The money's nice. Uh -huh. Don't get me wrong, but that's not my main priority. <laughs> all right, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the movie. Woo! I am super freaking excited for this one. Like I can't even, I, I can't even hold back my excitement. The Green Mile was so good. And you guys, this one was literally just like it. And I'm scared. <laughs> I'm terrified. Tim Robbins. I don't know anybody else in this film. <laughs> I looked through the entire cast. I don't know anybody else. I only know Morgan Freeman. This guy's sad. You might listen to this music just sitting in a dark street in your car. It's so sad. What? Why you got a gun? What are we doing here? All right, I'm stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop asking questions. I know y'all hate when I do that. Hmm. He's been drinking and he got a gun. That can't be good. I'll see you in hell before I see you in Reno. Those were the words you used, Mr. Dufresne, according to the testimony of your neighbors. Wow. So what happened after you argued with your wife? So he killed his wife. Glenn Quinton, golf pro at the Snowden Hills Country Club, the man you had. Wow. Drove to his house to confront them. They weren't home, so I parked in the turnout and waited. Wow. The following morning and finds your wife in bed with her lover riddled with 38 caliber bullets. Wow. Corpses of the victim. That is very convenient, isn't it, Mr. Dufresne? Maybe it's actually convenient, though. Like, I'm innocent of this crime, sir. I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, they'll never know, but maybe it actually is convenient. Like, maybe it just happened. Like, it'd be crazy if he was innocent, though. They had sinned. Was their crime so great as to merit a death sentence? I feel bad for him, though, for real. Because, like, he was just upset his wife cheated on him. He probably really loved her. Fired the gun empty. Stop to reload so that he could shoot each of them again. Wow. You strike me as a particularly icy and remorseless man, Mr. Dufresne. I still feel horrible. I still feel horrible though, because he was really just heartbroken. I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Damn. So be it. You should have, even if you didn't do it, I would have still showed a little bit of remorse because they were not going to play with you. Two life sentences? Jeez, man. Morgan Freeman looks so young here, but he has lived a very long time. <laughs> that man is so old, but he don't even look that old. It's crazy. I can honestly say that I'm a changed man. No longer a danger to society. That's God's honest truth. That sounds like a script. <laughs> Doesn't even sound like he means that. What? They rejected him? Okay. I mean, it sounded like a script to me, Loki, but like rejecting him is crazy. Just off the bat like that. How'd it go? Same old different day. 
That's how you feel. I'm up for rejection next week. I'm up for rejection. They just expect it to be rejected. I guess when you serve a life sentence, they automatically just think you're always going to be a, a danger. That's why you get served life. Me in 1949 and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him. I told him, no problem. No problem. Who's Rita? Is Rita Hayworth a person? Okay, so these two are gonna be the main characters, obviously. This guy clearly runs the prison, ain't never gonna get out. They gave him life sentences. And then this other guy, I don't know if he's innocent. I couldn't tell, really. He really did show no remorse. I don't know. On the outside, he'd been vice president of a large Portland bank. Good work for a man as young as he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he was really, really young. He seems successful, but he also seems expressionless. So I really, I can't tell. I can't tell if he's innocent. Follow this officer. Damn. I would love to know all of their stories, but that's a lot of inmates that you have to know about. He's wearing a suit and tie. The rest of them are wearing just rags. Chubby fat ass there, the fifth one from the front. Put me down for quarter deck. <laughs> what are they betting on? Tall drink of water with a silver spoon up his ass. Never happened. Ten cigarettes. All right, who's gonna prove me wrong? Okay, I don't know what they're betting for though, so I can't, <laughs> I can't give an opinion on it. They're betting if they last or something. Like I don't get it. He doesn't look like the rest of them. Like the rest of them, they look like they've been in some trouble before, maybe, or, or they just don't care, nonchalant, maybe a little scared, you know? He just is so expressionless, though. You are convicted felons. Rule number one no blasphemy. No blasphemy. Any questions? When do we eat? You really just asked that question? It was a rhetorical any questions, man. You shouldn't ask no questions. <laughs> Talking about when do we eat? And you piss when we say you piss. You got that, you maggot mother. Damn. You don't got questions. Put your trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. Facts. Welcome to Shawshank. All right, so now we know the prison is named Shawshank. So Shaw the Shawshank Redemption must be, you know, being redeemed in Shawshank prison. Move out of the cage, go to your left, pick up your clothes and Bible. Next man up. He actually gives them a Bible. Okay, that's pretty cool. Old life blown away in the blink of an eye. Nothing left but all the time in the world to think about it. Damn. Somebody always breaks down crying. Happens every time. The only question, who's it gonna be? So that's what they're betting on. Who's gonna break down first? As any, I guess. I had my money on Andy Dufresne. I wouldn't put my money on someone that's so emotionless, though. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is actually how prison is, but it would just be so... I wouldn't be able to sleep. It would just be so lonely and quiet. I like how they're all talking though. I would, yeah, I wouldn't be able to sleep. Like I would probably be cry I would probably be the one they bet on and I'd probably be crying. <laughs> It'd be too hard for me. You know, you listen to these nitwits, you hear me? Tell you what, I'll introduce you around. He already crying. A couple of big old bull queers that just love to make your acquaintance. <laughs> I don't belong here. We have a winner. Go home. Wow. Fat ass by a nose. Of course. Fish. I don't fish. 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 <laughs> Why would you have to be the one, man? You'll be telling him with my baton up your ass. What is your malfunction, you fat barrel of monkey spunk? <laughs> fat barrel? <laughs> Why are they always talking crap about him? You don't understand. I'm not supposed to be here. Open that sound. <laughs> yeah, everyone always thinks they're not supposed to be here, but... <laughs> God damn, you heard that? <laughs> man, that's messed up, man. That's messed up. I mean, I think they all feel like they're not supposed to be here. Like, especially if they believe in God, for real. They, they probably think this is not where they're meant to be, but... I swear by God and Sonny Jesus, you will all visit the infirmary. Every last mother in here. I was gonna say, like, you're here, man. There's no point in sitting here crying and begging to go, because they're not gonna let you go. They don't give a shit. 
about why you're here or how long or how long you're here you know so there's no point in doing all that <laughs> i would still probably cry silently by myself you know i would just probably the next day just accept it you know right in the joint and dufresne cost me two packs of cigarettes he never made a sound of course he didn't I don't know why he's so emotionless though. It's just just how he is. Like he don't smile, talk, breathe. <laughs> And then it's scary too because you have to get comfortable with all these people and like you don't know none of these people. They're all crazy. <laughs> You got a bird, okay. Fine morning, in it? You know why it's fine morning, don't you? Yeah, we know why, we know why. Look at that, stand in sky. Oh. Yes, Richmond, Virginia. Man, you kind of provoked him to cry though, like, I don't think that should count. You pulling for me duty this week? How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Dead? Dead? Doc had already gone home for the night. Old bastard laid there to this morning. By then, hell, it wasn't nothing we could do. Wow. I was just wondering if anyone knew his name. Doesn't f***ing matter what his name was. He's dead. Oh, that sucks, man. Anybody get to you yet? Hey, we all need friends in here. I could be a friend to you. Oh, he on that creep stuff. Mmm, okay. Hard to get. I like that. Oh, no, you're creepy. <laughs> no. A month went by that he finally opened his mouth to say more than two words to somebody. That somebody was me. Oh, wow. First person he talks to was you? Why'd you do it? I didn't, since you asked. You're going to fit right in. Everybody in here is innocent. He's really convinced that he didn't do it. I wonder if you might get me a rock hammer. A what? A rock hammer. What is it and why? What do you care? He's the one trying to get it for you. It's for the price, but then a toothbrush is a non-lethal object, isn't it? Right. Rock hammer is about six or seven inches long. Looks like a miniature pickaxe. Pickaxe? For rocks. What are you trying to do? Well, maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. I have no enemies here. Wait a while. Right, you'll get some. You'll get some enemies. I want to escape tunnel under the wall, maybe. If I miss something here, what's funny? You understand when you see the rock hammer. Maybe you can't escape with it. Risk goes up. Price goes up. It's making it even ten bucks. Ten it is. Okay, Sue. Name's Red. Red. Why do they call you that? Maybe it's because I'm Irish. What? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm Irish. He strolled like a man in the park without a care or a worry in the world. Yeah. I think it would be fair to say I liked Andy from the start. He clearly a little special. I think that's the key thing of him being emotionless though. Like. Sure, hey. Red gets his deliveries pretty easy though. Like they be slick about it. I finally got the joke. It would take a man about 600 years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a real small tool. Book? No. Y'all don't never want to read no books. Here's your book. Thanks. He's so quiet, for real. Like, it's kind of scary. You would think he actually did it. Uh-uh. Dark and quiet? Uh-uh. Uh, yep, I knew it. I knew this dude was gonna be a creep. Oh, no. Hush. Hey. This is so sad. And the sisters let him be. I wish I could tell you that, but prison is no fairy tale world. <sighs> That's so sad. Wallace E. Unger. Wouldn't you know it? Me and some fellas I know were among the names called. Man, you, you got so, he got so much. I made my usual 20%, of course. Yeah, he made, he has so much, like, ins and outs. 35,000, that's what he left me. Dollars? Holy sh**, that's great. That's like one in the sweepstakes. Not out of a million. Some sh**. 
What do you think the government's gonna do to me? Take a big wet bite out of my ass is what? And then it's not, that's not even a big chunk of a million anyways. I gotta pay tax on the car. Repair, maintenance. At the end of the year, you figure the tax wrong? This kid just listens all the time. He's just listening. A one-time only gift to your spouse for up to $60,000. Tax-free? IRS can't touch one cent. You're that smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? Hmm. I'm sure you would have investigated the matter yourself. Yeah, Nah, I don't need no smart wife killing banker to tell me where the bear's sitting the buck I mean, he gave you some shoe. He's smart. For each of my co-workers. Working outdoors feels more like a man if you can have a bottle of suds. It's only my opinion. <laughs> They're like, what the heck? This dude actually did that? Hey, back to work. Let's go, work. Oh, that boy's smart. Holy. The hardest screw that ever walked a turn at Shawshank State Prison. Pick up while it's cold, lady. Oh prick even managed to sound magnanimous that's so nice as for andy he spent that break hunkered in the shade a strange little smile on his face literally he just smiled he didn't even drink want a cold one andy no thanks gave up drinking you gave up drinking maybe make a few friends among us cons see i think he did it just to feel normal again if only for a short while yeah i don't have the rocks pickings are pretty slim in the yard pebbles mostly Okay. So he wants a board and rocks. We can be kind of friends, or I mean, he's shoot. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, right? Just like everybody else here. <laughs> I mean, I think he's telling the truth, but I think he's low key. He's kind of starting to fit in a little bit. <laughs> Murder, same as you. Innocent. Only guilty man in Shawshank. I like how he said it's gonna take years and then he said years I got <laughs> got two lifetimes here I really want to know what red did because he's the only one that's willing to admit that he's guilty Like he said the only guilty man in Shawshank. So I really want to know like here she comes This is the part I really like is when she does that with her hair. Oh, yeah, I know I've seen it three times this month <laughs> I've seen it three times this month <laughs> Known to locate certain things from time to time. What do you want? Rita Hayworth. What? Can you get her? Hmm? Yeah, Andy. I don't have a stuff down in front of my pants right now. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Rita Hayward. Is that the celebrity? So is he asking for a, a corno magazine or something? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm never gonna be left alone. Ain't you gonna scream? <laughs> oh. <laughs> And they've been messing him up for too long, man. In fact, I hear the bite reflex is so strong, they have to pry the victim's jaws open with a crowbar. Damn. I suggest you not do that. Boggs didn't put anything in Andy's mouth, and neither did his friends. Damn. He's beat him within an inch of his life. Andy spent a month in the infirmary. Dang. He knows too much. He's really, really smart. He just knows too much. It's your world, boss. Ugh, spending time in the hole gotta be horrible. Oh, what happened? They gonna stand for Andy. Yeah, I knew it. I mean, Andy helped them. They, they got no choice but to stand for him now. No, no, help me, <laughs> Do not get a no help, man. The sisters never laid a finger on Andy again, and Boggs never walked again. Damn, beat the crap out of him. To my knowledge, he lived out the rest of his days drinking his food through a straw. Shoot. And Andy could use a nice welcome back when he gets out of the Right, shoot. Andy, Andy held his own. <laughs> One, I love that he fought back. Two, now everyone has his back. Let's get him some rocks. <laughs> like what? Rocks? You found a rock? Nice. Now they're just searching for rocks while digging. Hey, would that have some soapstone? That ain't alabaster either. What are you, a geologist? <laughs> Everyone knows what soapstone and, and the other one is. I don't even, I can't tell the difference between rocks. And of course, the most important item, Rita Hayworth herself. He's back. He's going to be so happy seeing all that. Man, that man got super beat. No charge, welcome back. Aww. 
I like it gives them heads up and stuff. Man, but y'all gotta jack everything up to search, like. Any favorite passages? Watch ye therefore, for ye know not when the master of the house cometh. <laughs> it's called a rock blanket for shaping and polishing rocks. A little hobby of mine. He has a hobby of shaping rocks. Let him do it, man. Can't say I approve of this, but I suppose exceptions can be made. It's a poster. What is the worst he can do with a poster? I hate to deprive you of this. Salvation lies within. Yes, sir. I don't know. I feel like they really, like, they all really like him. They just don't want to admit it. You enjoy working in the laundry? No, sir. Not especially. Well, perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. Yeah, good idea. I love that. <sighs> Hey, Jake, where's Brooks? Candy. And I thought... Man, that crow grew a lot. National Geographics, Reader's Digest, Condensed Books, and Louis L'Amour. Looks like this library needs a little assistance, you know, <laughs> a little fixer-upper. Brooks, how long have you been librarian? I come here on Art 5, and they made me librarian in 19 and 12. Damn, it's old. I was uh, thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. Oh, wow. Why don't we have a seat and talk it over? Mm, okay, so his job has nothing to do with the library. He's just going to be working down here to, uh, I'm guessing, assisting with financial things. That's what he's good at. And then Andy says, it, Mr. Deacon, you want your sons to go to Harvard? <laughs> I'm a convicted murderer who provides sound financial planning. It's a wonderful pet to have. That is. How about expanding the library, get some new books in there? I'm gonna ask for something, ask for a pool table. What? Dufresne, if you please, ask the warden for fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the warden is not gonna give you that. I'll write a letter a week, they can't ignore me forever. If you write your letters, it makes you happy. I'll even mail them for you. How's that? No, oh, at least he let him though. And, just like Norton said, Andy got no answers. True, but he's is upgrading, helping all these people though. Well, in April, Andy did tax returns for half the guards at Shawshank. Dang. Year after that, he did them all, including the wardens. What the heck? They rescheduled the start of the intramural season to coincide with tax season. This man is literally a financial genius. They were not playing when he said he worked at a bank. It's the only way they let me stay. Come on, this is crazy. You don't want to do this. Come on. Oh, he's trying to stay? Oh, they must be letting him go. I didn't do nothing. I come in here to say fare thee well. Ain't you heard his parole come through? Oh. I just don't understand what happened in there. That's all. Old man's crazy as a rat in a tin house is what. Oh. Would you knock it off? Brooks ain't no bug. Just institutionalized. Literally, he served his entire life in this prison. He's not going to be able to adjust when he leaves. In here, he's an important man. Outside, he's nothing. Just a used-up con with arthritis in both hands. Yeah. Fred, I do believe you're talking out of your ass. I, no, I agree. He doesn't know any other life. Enough time passes. You get so you depend on him. That's institutionalized. I agree. You're free. <sighs> Aww. You're free too, man. God, that's gonna suck. He's been here for a very long time. Feels weird walking out them gates. And then when you get served a life sentence and you get out when you're old, everyone you love is gone. You have nothing. And then you have to adjust to the real world again. Like, it's hard, man. It's really hard. Look at him. Just walking around so lost. I saw an automobile once when I was a kid, but now they're everywhere. Yeah. There wasn't even cars when he was a kid. Jeez. Halfway house called the Brewer and a job bagging groceries at the Foodway. At least they gave them a job and a house. That's nice. Feed the birds. I keep thinking Jake might just show up and say hello. He never does. Hmm. Maybe I should get me a gun, rob the foodway, so they'd send me home. Aww. Just so they send me home. He thinks prison is home. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss. Not for an old crook like me. No.
Oh my god. P.S. Tell Hayward I'm sorry I put a knife to his throat. No hard feelings, but... Oh my god, man. Life outside of prison was unbearable for him. Funds for your library project. In addition, the library district... He smiled and got happy. We now consider the matter closed. Please stop sending us letters. <laughs> They're sick of their letters. Good for you, Andy. It only took six years. <laughs> six years? A letter a week for six years? Jeez. That old man literally could not bear. He literally could not bear not being in prison. Like, what the hell, man? Try to take a poop. <laughs> what did he just do? What are you doing? You know you're gonna get in trouble. Oh, Lord. He knows he's gonna get in so much trouble for that. To this day, what those two Italian ladies were singing about, I don't want to know. Some things are best left unsaid. Aw, look at how at peace he is, though. And look at everyone else just captivated. Open it up! The frame, open this door! He don't even care. He's just so at peace. I am warning you, Dufresne. Turn that off! <laughs> he put it higher. He's an asshole. <laughs> You're gonna get, like, two years in the hole, man. <laughs> And it got two weeks in the hole for that little stunt. Two weeks? Maestro. Two weeks? I thought he was gonna get a lot longer for that. He's in here. In here. That's the beauty of music. They can't get that from you. Yeah. That is the beauty of music. It's always inside you. There's something inside that they can't get to that they can't touch. It's yours. Andy is so, like... He feels so spiritual, like he's so deep and smart and, and oh my gosh, it just gives me jitters. He's not as cold as everyone else in here. Hope can drive a man insane. He's got no use on the inside. You better get used to that idea. Like Brooks did. Aww. Again? Sit down. Man, he's just ready to get rejected, man. No danger to society here. God's honest truth. Absolutely rehabilitated. Why does he give the same line every time? Like, it doesn't help that you're giving the same line. You could at least try to be, you know, released. I wonder where 10 years went. It's already been 10 years. Little parole rejection present. Parole rejection. <laughs> Get a present for being rejected? That's crazy. I had to go through one of your competitors. I hope you don't mind. I, I wanted to be a surprise. A harmonica? Oh, wow. It's very pretty, Andy. Thank you. Aww. That guy's a, he's the sweetest soul in the world. That's why I'm convinced. I don't think he actually did it. I, like, I know he's so emotionless and shows no remorse for it or whatever. Maybe he was just genuinely angry with his wife and he didn't do it, you know? Bro's already been here for 10 years. And he kinda tall. Look how tall, much taller he is in the door. New girl for your 10 year anniversary. <laughs> you got a Marilyn Monroe, that's crazy. That is crazy, this man is, he has a lot of collections and obsessions. He's such a unique man. It'd be cool if he played the harmonica at night, like when no one was listening, or like everyone was quiet and the guards weren't listening. Yes! No, play it! I wanted to hear you play it! Oh. They couldn't buy him off with just a $200 check. Appropriations Committee voted an annual payment of five- Jeez. You'd be amazed how far Andy could stretch it. He made deals with book clubs, charity groups. He is very dedicated. Count Monte Crisco. That's Cristo, you dumb sh**. <laughs> Alexandri Damas. 
dumbass. <laughs> First Alexandria dumbass. You like it? It's about a prison break. We ought to file that on the educational too, oughtn't we? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Let's get out of here, please. Rat turds and turpentine into the best prison library in New England. Look at everyone using it. Bro, shush! Libraries are supposed to be quiet. You should have some of this fine pie my missus made specially for you. When you think about that. Oh. Me, I already got my boys committed elsewhere. You be sure and thank Maisie for this fine pie. Hey, man, you sure making money? Behind every dollar earned, that was Andy. Yep. It'd be funny if he knows his safe code. <laughs> we'll go steal all the money. <laughs> Very nice. Sir. Big charity to do out Portland Way. Governor's gonna be there. Hmm. You look clean, my guy. Woman can't bake with shit. Thank you, sir. He sure did give it to a bunch of other people. With having all that money, the sooner or later you're gonna have to explain where it came from. Well, that's where I come in. Mm -hmm. Stock securities, tax free municipals. They sure do use him for a lot of illegal, dirty stuff, though. So if you want to talk one day, he can. <laughs> but all that paper leaves a trail. Now, anybody gets curious FBI, IRS, whatever. Mm hmm. Sure it is. But not to me. And certainly not to the warden. What does that mean? All right, who? Randall Stevens. Who? What is that? But who is he? He's a phantom, an apparition, second cousin to Harvey the Rabbit. Not a real person. Wow. You can't just make a person up. Well, sure you can. You know how the system works, where the cracks are, and what you can accomplish by mail. He's not wrong. He has a birth certificate, driver's license, social security number. You're shitting me. How? They're going to wind up chasing a figment of my imagination. How'd he do that? On the outside, I was an honest man, straight as an arrow. I had to come to prison to be a crook. <laughs> Don't laugh that loud. <laughs> it's good prison to be a crook. Yeah, I love this man. I think the warden lets me do all that. Keep you happy in doing the laundry. Money instead of sheets. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Not more new fish. <laughs> wow, it's been that long. They got a whole bunch of new fish. Hey, come on, old boy. Look bad. We liked him immediately. He's, I don't know, he's real loud and active. He's like the opposite of Andy. Yes, sir. I sure did. But if I drop this thing, you got me on destruction of property, too. <laughs> very true. Perhaps it's time you tried a new profession. You don't seem to be a very good thief. Maybe you should try something else. <laughs> yeah, right. Lawyer, f me. Everybody's innocent in here. Don't you know that? <laughs> I like how you played the role. Yeah, now you look goofy. He part of them now. Everybody innocent of you. Trying for my high school equivalency here. You helped a couple fellows with that. I don't waste time on losers, Tommy. Oh. Because if we do this, we do it all the way. 100%. Nothing half assed. Mm hmm. Don't read so good. So well. Oh, this is going to be hard. So Andy took Tommy under his wing. Started walking him through his ABCs. That's nice though. At least Andy was nice enough to do that. He really liked the kid. Gave him a thrill to help a youngster crawl off the shit heap. Uh, he almost had all of them. That's okay. He's like, what's a limp? <laughs> Prison time is slow time. So you do what you can to keep going. It's slow time, but it feels like it's going forever. Andy built a library. Now he needed a new project. Tommy was it. I mean, Andy did everything. Forget building a library. He hung his fantasy girlies on the wall. In prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. Yeah, to stay busy. Time. Well? He ain't finish. Five times five is 25. This place! Shit! He's so frustrated. Learning is a process, man. You can't rush it. He's so mad for no reason. What's he in here for anyway? Murder. Caught his wife in bed with some golf pro. Greased them both. Damn. Hmm? About four years ago, I was in Thomaston on a two to three stretch. No way he was the one that killed. No way. I fart. He jumped three feet in the air. Talked all the time, too. That's the other thing. Shut up. I hope he didn't do it and he's just telling a story about someone else that he knew that did it. She's f***ing the 
this prick see this golf pro, but she married some other guy. Hotshot banker. What? And he's the one they pinned it on. Oh my gosh. Naturally wants to cheer you up. Not surprising he wouldn't know what a state he put you in. No. What did you call me? Obtuse. The country club will have his old time cards. <sighs> If you want to indulge this fantasy, that's your business. This is the first time he's been so passionate about something in prison because he knows he's innocent. Andy is innocent. Real innocent? Yeah. That looks that way. How long has he been here now? 19 years. Wow. Board of Education. You're going to open it? You're going to stand there with your thumb up your butt? Thumb up my butt sounds better. <laughs> I agree. Come on, will you throw that away, please? He probably passed. Kid passed. C plus average. Thought you'd like to know. Aww. Look at that. He's just so happy, man. He's so at peace with little things like that. Right here? That's what the man said. Mm. Oh no. What's going on here? This thing really came along and knocked my wind out. It's got me up nights. That's the truth. Right thing to do. The right thing to do is to free this man because he's not guilty. The hell? Just give me that chance. That's what I thought. Wow. Are you kidding me? They will not let this man be free. Oh my god. That is not fair. That's just not fair. Young, less than a year to go trying to escape we just have to put it behind us he had a wife and a kid like i can't believe that everything stops get someone else to ruin your skills nothing stops no everything stops in the library gone sealed off brick by brick screw it man i would say screw it this man is taking advantage of you not letting you get your freedom when you're innocent screw it give him another month to think about Oh, wow, another month. Wow. They're leaving him in here for two months. I drove her away. And that's why she died because of me. The way I am. No, man, you can't blame yourself for that. Oh my god. That is so sad. You didn't pull the trigger. Somebody else did. And I wound up in here. Bad luck, I guess. Yeah, bad luck, I guess. You know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific? They say it has no memory. That's where I want to live the rest of my life. Aww. Pacific Ocean? That scared me to death, something that big. <laughs> Whatever mistakes I made, I paid for them and then so. That hotel, that boat, I don't think that's too much to ask. I agree. I agree. Innocent man, he's served like, what, 30 years now? Like... This is just pipe dreams. I mean, Mexico is way to hell down there and you- For 20. Got a long rock wall. A big oak tree at the north end. It's like something out of a Robert Frost poem. What is... That's very specific. There's something buried under it I want you to have. What's buried under there? You'll have to pry it up to see. What the heck? That was creepy. No, I'm telling you, the guy is, is talking funny. Yeah, it seems like something's about to happen. He asked me for a length of rope. Rope? Six feet long. And you gave it to him. He's gonna... Y'all think y'all gonna hang himself? And he'd never do that. I don't know. Every man has his breaking point. Very true, but I don't think so. Get my stuff down the laundry and shine my shoes. I want them looking like mirrors. Maybe he's doing something else. Seems like he's trying to get that money. Hmm, I don't know. He's not gonna hang himself, right? Please don't. No. Get your ass out of here, boy. You hold up the show. Don't make me come down there. I'll thump your skull for you. Please don't tell me he did it. Please. Oh, my holy God. What? He escaped. And every man on this cell block questioned. He escaped. Don't say that to me again. But, sir, he wasn't. I can see that, hey? 
Think I'm blind? How did he get out? Not tomorrow, not after breakfast. Now. Yes, sir. How did he escape? I bet you it's the poster, ain't it? He probably dig the, dug a hole behind that poster. Well, what? I see you two all the time. You're thick as thieves you are. That don't mean he know where he was going. Damn conspiracy! And everyone's in on it! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I just, I seen the poster and I just had a clue. What the heck? This man's been digging a hole for a very long time. He's gone. He is. Y'all are not gonna find him. Muddy set of prison clothes, a bar of soap, and an old rock hammer. Damn near worn down to the nub. What? Holy. Geology is the study of pressure and time. That's all it takes, really. Pressure and time. He did not care. Right. In prison, a man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied what that's insane and he decided he'd been here just about long enough look at me split i want to get home oh my god my mind is blown and he took the money with him three deposits tonight yes yeah, so y'all underestimated him the guard simply didn't notice. Neither did I. How often do you really look at a man's shoes? True. What the heck? Like, my mind is literally blown. My mind is truly freaking blown right now. How? Like, what? He used the rope to tie the thing to his foot. Oh my gosh. And then he's waiting for the thunder sound. This man is insane. 500 yards of smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Or maybe I- uh, it throwing up? I mean, shoot, screw it, he went to freedom! 500 yards. That's the length of five football fields. What? He climbed all that just to be free! Oh my gosh! This is actually insane. Until that moment, he didn't exist, except on paper. He had all the proper ID. Wow. Here's your cashier's check, sir. Could you add this to your outgoing mail? I'd be happy to. Wow, this is insane. Severance pay for 19 years. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Andy is disgusting. Oh my gosh. I am freaking speechless right now. I wasn't there to see it, but I hear Byron Hadley started sobbing like a little girl when they took him away. Oh my goodness, Andy's a genius! Make it easy on yourself, Jordan. Oh god. Hey man, you kinda had it coming, like... Not long after the warden deprived us of his company, I got a postcard in the mail. From Mexico? But the postmark said Fort Hancock, Texas. Texas? Andy Dufresne, who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. Wow, he got his freedom. Headed for the Pacific.
Oh my gosh. I swear the stuff he pulled. He's a couple of beers <laughs> and he got it. And he got it. Yeah, oh wow. I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. Their feathers are just too bright. It's crazy. He completely just, he just left. <laughs> he said, screw all of them. I'm gone. The place you live in is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. Crazy one guy can completely change you. Yeah. Please tell me he gets freedom. This is gonna be the time. This is gonna be the time. That kid's long gone. And this old man is all that's left. I gotta live with that. At least he didn't say the same script. They're probably gonna accept him because of this. Stamp your form, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. I don't give a sh Wow. Wow, that's insane. They're finally letting him go. Oh man, that fresh air of freedom, boy. Go see Andy. That's the first thing we have to do. Go to Mexico and go see him, please. <gasps> Is he gonna be in the same room? He doesn't know that. There's a harsh truth to face. No way I'm gonna make it on the outside. It's so sad to think that, man. All I do anymore is think of ways to break my parole. So maybe they'd send me back. Yeah, Brooks was the same way. It's really hard to have to adjust to life on the outside. Only one thing stops me. A promise I made to Andy. I can't wait to see what this gift is, though. I really can't wait. Blast. This man been walking forever. You should have just told him to drive you down the road. There it is. There's the tree. A rock that looked like it don't belong. Yep, there he goes. What is it? How could you sit down with that suit, man? In the dirt. <laughs> Let me see what it is, please. Dang, that's a lot of money. What you giving me money for? Read the letter, read the letter. <laughs> Look around, making sure nobody else is here, shoot. If you've come this far, maybe you're willing to come a little further. You remember the name of the town, don't you? Mm-hmm. Could use a good man to help me get my project on wheels. I'll keep an eye out for you. Hope is a good thing. Oh. I will be hoping that this letter finds you and finds you well. Yay, please go to Mexico. Please. Oh my God, he finally, but that, that's his reason to, to be here though. Like life outside those walls is so hard, but he just found a reason to be here. Oh my goodness. That's goddamn right. So is right. I can barely sit still or hold a thought in my head. I think it's the excitement only a free man can feel. Oh yes, go to your friend! Journey, whose conclusion is uncertain. Please, I just need to see him. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. I hope the Pacific is as blue as it has been in my dream. I hope. All we can do is hope, man. His hat! Alan Green. <laughs> oh my god. Mm, I didn't want it to end. <laughs> I 
I love the way it ended, but I didn't want it to end. I love that movie, you know? It was the sweetest. Oh my gosh. It's like as soon as Andy Dufresne came into the scene, you know, as soon as they said, like, you're guilty, you're going to jail to serve two lifetimes. I just felt like there was something off about him. He's so emotionless. He's so like nonchalant. Like he does not care about where he is or where he's going. And I, I love that. I loved it from the beginning. I truly didn't believe he was guilty, you know? Like, I don't know. I just didn't believe it. Oh my God. Just how the pieces just got together. And then the fact that it took Andy to truly make Red feel like he deserved to be free, to have hope, it's just, it's beautiful. He was in that prison for, what was it, 50, 40 years? I think it was 40 years. In that prison for 40 years. And it took Andy Dufresne to get him to say, man, I don't give a shit if y'all reject me. And they said, man, he's determined. He wants to get out just to prove him. And look at this. Like, <laughs> they ended up together. Like, that was the most beautiful thing in the world, man. That was so beautiful. Get busy living or get busy dying. You know what I'm saying? They had to get busy living. I really, really loved it. Uh, it wasn't as emotional as I thought it would be. I definitely thought it was going to be more emotional than that, but... It was still very heartwarming, very heart touching, and I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to that as well. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. This has been MJ, and don't ask about Spider-Man. Peace.